All right, we're going to go through the very basic structure of an atom. So we're going to start with the subatomic particles. The subatomic particles, sub meaning under, and atomic meaning referring to an atom. So these are particles that are smaller than the atom. The first particle is the electron. The symbol for an electron is E minus. The location of the electron is in the electron cloud. The charge is minus one. And the mass is so close to zero that we just don't consider it to have much mass. So we just say that the mass is almost zero. The next particle is the proton. It, its symbol is P plus. The location of the proton is in the nucleus. Its charge is exactly opposite that of an electron and is plus one. And the mass of a proton is one AMU. And AMU stands for atomic mass unit. The last subatomic particle that we're going to talk about is the neutron. The neutron symbol is N with a zero. The location of the neutron is also in the nucleus. So in the nucleus, we find both the proton and the neutron. The charge of a neutron is zero. There is no charge. It is neutral. Hence, it's called a neutron. The mass is very, very close to that of a proton. And so we say it is also one atomic mass unit. The electron and the electron cloud can actually be known as a few different things. It can also be known as energy levels, orbitals, or shells. And these are regions where electrons are most likely to be. The electrons are moving around very, very fast around the nucleus. And so there's no telling exactly where it's going to be. But the electron cloud or the energy levels, orbitals, or shells is where we're most likely to find them. We're now going to move on to some atomic math. Here we have a, the structure of the atom. In the nucleus, we find the positive protons. Here we have one, two, three, four visible protons. We also have neutrons. They do not have any plus or minus sign. They are neutrally charged. And then the electrons have a minus sign. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. In the nucleus, we have six protons and six neutrons. Because it has six protons, by definition, that is carbon. The periodic table is organized in order of atomic number. Now what atomic number is, is the number of protons in the nucleus. In a neutrally charged atom, we have the same number of electrons as protons, because as you recall from the previous table, protons are plus one, electrons are minus one. This HE is the symbol, that is the atomic symbol. And the number down at the bottom, in this case 4.00, is the atomic mass. And the atomic mass is calculated by taking the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So helium has two protons. And so how many neutrons would that be? Well, because the mass is four and we have two protons, we would need two neutrons in order to get to four. So the average helium atom has two protons and two neutrons to give us a mass of four. Okay, let's take a look at some periodic table math and using the same kind of example. So here we have neon is what we're trying to find. So it says how many protons, electrons, and neutrons does neon have? Well, let's look at the periodic table. All right, neon we find right here. The number 10. That's the atomic number. And the mass is 20.1797. And so what we do with that is we take the mass and we round it to the nearest whole number. So we have 20. We then subtract the atomic number 
which, if you recall, was 10. That is the number of protons. And also electrons, but really for this, we just worry about the new, uh, we just worry about the protons, excuse me. What this will do is this will tell us the difference. And the difference is 10. Now this 10 is the number of neutrons. Let's try another one. Now we're going to be looking at iron. So we go back to the periodic table and we find iron. Iron is number 26. It has a mass number, atomic mass of 55.845. So we use that. We take the 55.845, we round that up to 56. And so when looking at the periodic table math, the atomic mass was 56 atomic mass units. The atomic number was 26. Remember that is the number of protons and electrons. And the difference is 30, and that gives us the number of neutrons. We're going to try one more. I want you to do I want you to pause the video and do this on your own. We find Rn. Now, Rn stands for radon. So we go to our periodic table. We find radon, and it's down in this bottom right corner. We look here, and we see that the mass is 222, and the atomic number is 86. So, what was the atomic mass? The atomic number. And the difference. The difference here is going to be 136, and that again is the number of neutrons.